Good morning everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you my productive and self-care morning routine that's been working for me best this spring. It is 7 a.m. It is rise and shine moment. I've got pimple patches on my face and my skin is having an eczema flare up. But is that new? I don't think so. It's so sunny today and I don't think that there's possibly anything better than waking up to a sunny room when the light is shining in. The very first thing I do in the morning is open up my blinds just so that I can get some light in my room. I like to put my hair in a bun just to get it out of my face so then I can go wash it. I'm always alternating between cleansers, but today I used a Tatcha one. I put in my contact lenses and then I go straight into the kitchen where I see my cat. He's always taking a nap. Here I have my ice roller. I actually got this from Amazon. I also love to start my mornings by making some tea or hot water. It was such a beautiful day this morning, so I had to open up the windows. Lastly, just to set the tone for the morning, I'm gonna light some incense. And I'm also putting in some oils into my diffuser. This past month, I've really been focusing on having an actual routine. I've been really on my fitness grind, my health grind, what I'm eating grind, skincare grind, and I'm really excited to show you guys how I've been incorporating it into my morning routine. It's only 8 a.m. and I've already done some of my favorite morning rituals. I've got my green tea here. I'm deep puffing my face with this ice roller, and this has actually been one of my favorite things in my morning routine because my eyes have been so puffy in the morning. It definitely helps and it genuinely works. As for my green tea, you guys all know drinking hot water with like lemon in the morning is really good for your immune system it has so many benefits unfortunately today i don't have any lemon but green tea is really good for you so we're gonna have that as our choice of drink today and because we have extra time this morning and i say that just because it's so sunny so it's easy for me to wake up way earlier than i need to be i've laid out some of my journals here i have the five minute journal and this black journal the five minute journal i've talked about so many times and basically every morning it just gives you three questions which is what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and your daily affirmations, and it comes with a little quote. As for this black journal, this is my own journal, and I can do my own prompts on there. So normally I look on Pinterest and I just search up morning journal prompts. I have this little book here, it is called Yoga for Mind, Body, and Spirit. It's super cute, and it's got little morning meditations. It just gives you like a little practice and guide. I feel like it's just fun to read first thing in the morning. I'm gonna play some frequency music at the same time, just because I feel like whenever I'm doing something that is good for my soul it really does it for me it feels like it's a whole experience and not just something that I'm doing I just did a little meditation. I wrote out like kind of a little guide on how I meditate. I'm gonna put it up on the screen here so you guys kind of understand. You guys can kind of take it into consideration for yourself if you wanna do it. I personally like to listen to music in the background, but you don't have to. I think sitting in complete silence might almost be better for you, but it's totally up to your preference. I feel like meditation is something that I don't often practice on my own, but going to yoga, you normally have to get in the zone before you start, and then you do a shavasana at the very end, which is where you like lay down and you're just kind of relaxing on your own for a period of time so i've realized that now taking that practice outside of the studio i can meditate pretty well on my own and i've gotten so much better at being completely present and not thinking about anything else when i'm just alone in my thoughts for my little book of yoga this is the first page that i read you guys can pause it if you want to read it 
There's also this page if you guys want to pause and read it. I also did this little practice at the beginning of my meditation. That was cute and wholesome. I feel really good now. I'm going to do my gua sha skincare routine and continue on with getting ready for the day. snatched i feel pretty i feel cute every saturday there is a yoga at house concepts taught by this girl danielle at 10 30 a.m and i really really like it so i am gonna go to that today obviously because it's like yoga you're working out normally i don't wear makeup but you know it's a saturday we're going downtown i want to feel cute so i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup not like a lot i just got this tinted moisturizer from rare beauty and i'm really liking it so far so i'm gonna use this i also got a rare beauty blush and just look at how cute this is tell me this isn't the cutest packaging you've ever seen like it's literally gorgeous i also bought this air brow thing for your brow it's just brown for mascara i always use the covergirl lash blast volume and the telescopic mascara and i'm gonna curl my eyelashes <laughs> apply some of this olaplex number no. seven bonding oil to my hair just because it's a little bit crazy i put it in braids last night i'm also gonna put a little bit of this glossier you perfume on and then let me show you my gym outfit okay so this is what we got right now the sport body material by set active is my favorite of all time i'm gonna be wearing this aloe sports bra it's a little bit small for me but we're gonna see what we can do with it i have this little t-shirt from set active to throw on top and then these set active socks i'm wearing different ones but these are my favorite socks by far and then as for my bag i've been obsessed with this bag it is from my mom made it and i've just got all the essentials like my battery charger i've got some spray deodorant an alani protein bar i've got my wallet i always get asked questions about this it's from brandy melville and then of course my favorite water bottle Lately, something that I've been doing is I haven't been having breakfast until 12 p.m. It's kind of like a fasting in a way. If I need a quick snack before I go work out, I'll eat a banana. But I am going to make a juice this morning because I did buy a juicer recently. And having celery juice first thing in the morning is really healthy for you. I have a few other vegetables like cucumber and green apple and whatever. So we're going to make just a nice, delicious juice. We're also going to have our vitamins because vitamins are super important. And I recently just got a whole bunch sent to me of like gummy vitamins. So, I mean, I don't know if it's okay to eat that many, but I've just been eating so many gummy vitamins yeah that's basically what we got to do for now before we go downtown it takes like 40 minutes for me to get to this workout class which is really excessively long but i think it's really worth it because once i'm down there it's so pretty there normally i stay the day and i do work there i just aux in the car and it's such a vibe to just sing to music especially when it's sunny out also i'm gonna bring my earphones because as our goal said on our five minute journal go on a 10 minute walk and i'm so down for that so i think right after the yoga class we're gonna do a little walk <laughs> For today's lineup, we have so many gummies. So we've got biotin, which is great for your skin, hair, and nails. Collagen, which is also great for your skin. Digestive gummies, always a good thing. Prebiotics and probiotics. The everyday immune gummies. Prebiotics, probiotics, vitamin C, and zinc. And then I love taking apple cider vinegar for digestion and D because we do not get enough sun here. the best for last. These actually just taste like straight up candy. They're so good. So you brought me flowers and my groceries. <laughs> fruits and veggies i've got pears green apples cucumber celery and ginger this is the juicer that i use i just bought it from london drugs this is definitely enough juice for me i'm gonna make a little bit more though for my mom when she wakes up Okay, let's give mine a first try because I definitely added more apple and sweetness to the second one. Mm -hmm. I can definitely taste the ginger, which is exactly what I was going for. This is what I made for my mom. I'm gonna have a little sip. They kind of taste the same. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of ice into mine and then we're gonna hop in the car. 
by the way these are my favorite slides they're from amazon they're like fake yeezys although my cat did in fact attack them i'm obsessed with them okay we are perfect for timing life is good it is sunny i feel great i feel alive i made sure to bring my runners and a jacket just in case if i go on a walk after couldn't find my airpods but you know what it might just have to be a more mindful walk a walk where i don't play music a walk where i listen to the nature let's get going i'm so excited for my yoga class mm, mm, mm. Oh. it is key i need to just take a deep breath that's a joke i have zero gas The last thing I want to be doing right now. Oh my god, I'm here on time. I just ran here. I'm so tired. I just finished the yoga class it felt great i love the look of sunlight coming in i think it's perfect for the morning although i do love that my home studio the one that i go to closer to my house is normally like in the dark kind of with warm lighting it makes it feel very relaxing this is definitely more energizing i also wanted to say to you guys that a lot of times people ask me like how are you so motivated to do yoga and for me it's not something about motivation because i genuinely love doing it like for example you love watching tv nobody needs to force you to watch tv or nobody needs to motivate you to watch TV like it's genuinely something you like every time I go I just think it's so fun I came from a background of doing like gymnastics and cheer so I really find it fun to work on my flexibility and stretch it's different doing it at home with like a YouTube video when you're like crammed up in your room than going to a studio being like one with everybody else that's there everyone's taking it seriously the instructor is like talking to you at the same time it's nice to get out of the house I do know that yoga memberships are kind of expensive though but if you go like so often then it's a hundred percent worth it in my opinion every time I go I never regret it when I'm done yoga is not your vibe i would try a bunch of different types of physical activities or movements and find one that really sticks with you and that you enjoy doing and that you're motivated to do so it doesn't have to feel like you're dragging yourself to get there now because it's such a sunny day i want to stay downtown for a bit and go on a walk it's only 11:55. normally like i said i have breakfast at 12 but i'm gonna be really hungry if i don't eat anything and then i go home and it's gonna be like 1 30 so i do have these they're clean protein chocolate cookies this really isn't like breakfast but it's got like black beans protein powder coconut oil baking powder shredded coconut oats cocoa powder coconut sugar honey okay it's honestly not that healthy for you but i'm gonna have like half of one these are from body energy club and they're delicious they straight up just taste like chocolate i cannot wait till i move to the city because something about like seeing everyone walking around on their bikes taking their dogs out for walks like that guy is probably 70 years old and he's on a bike it makes me want to go outside i'm gonna finish eating this and then let's go on a walk though it is sunny it is freezing and i only have this little hoodie so i'm probably not gonna go on a walk for too long probably only like half an hour there's literally an outside zumba class i think that is the most wholesome thing ever I am home. I just changed into some comfy clothes. Said hello to my kitty. And it's now time to make breakfast. It's gonna be the final thing in my morning routine. I have really been enjoying making breakfasts recently. For a while there, I stopped cooking for some reason. Like I just got really lazy and would never cook unless my parents made something or I would like order food or make things that were super fast. But as I've been saying in this video, I've been on this health grind. And a part of being on this health grind is eating more protein, having less sodium and salts, drinking more water, having more whole foods. So today we're gonna make some eggs. I've been having like two eggs basically every morning with like ketchup and I'm gonna have one piece of avocado toast. I just got this new bread. It's like a lot healthier and it tastes really good. That 
breakfast was delicious. If you've made it up to this point in the video, please comment down below this emoji. Please let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. I love you and I'll see you soon. Stay tuned for a night routine.